Among you, 90% of people must have tried Prime OS. But have you ever tried the Ghost version of Prime OS? This is basically a modified version of Prime OS, specifically designed for PUBG and Free Fire. In this version, not only has it been rooted, but the DPI has also been maximized to make it easier for you to take headshots. In this video, we will install Prime OS, but in the end, we will also conduct performance tests by running some game. So, let's begin. Let's roll. You will find the links to all these files on my website. And if you don't know how to download the files, I have provided a link to a video in the description. Watch that video once before downloading. After downloading, the first step is to install Disk Genius and Grub to win. I've already installed them, and if you don't know how to install them, you can click on the i button above to watch that video, or I'll also provide a link in the description. So, now you need to open Disk Genius. After that, you need to select anyone partition. Make sure you select the partition where there is no important data. Then, you need to right-click on the partition and format it. While formatting, you need to select ext4 and format it without giving any volume label. After the format is complete, you need to open the newly formatted drive and create a new folder here. You should name this folder Ghost. Make sure the first letter of Ghost is capitalized. Otherwise, you might encounter an error during boot. Then, go to this folder and create another new folder. You should name this folder Data. In the next step, you need to extract the Prime OS zip file. Let's quickly do that. After the extraction is complete, you will see an ISO file and a folder. Go inside this folder and drag and drop the boot file into Disk Genius. Then, extract the Prime OS ISO file. After the extraction is complete, you need to copy all these files from here, which I'm currently doing, and then drag and drop them into Disk Genius. So, our work with Disk Genius is done, and now we can close it. So guys, after that, you need to launch Grub to win. Once launched, you have to go to the Manage Boot Menu section and click on Add New Entry here. In the Type section, select Sub Menu. And in the title section, type Prime OS Ghost. Now, you have to click on Edit Custom Code, and then copy the Grub code from here and paste it into Grub to win. After that, click on OK and then click on Apply. After that, you need to tick mark this operating system and save it. So here, our task is done, finished. And now we'll restart our PC. Immediately after restarting, you'll see this boot menu, and from here, you need to select Prime OS Ghost. Then, press Enter. So here, the loading process has started, and it will take around 2 to 3 minutes to complete. Until then, you need to wait a bit. Once the process is complete, you need to set it up, so let's quickly do that. All right, friends, the Prime OS Ghost version has been successfully installed, and we didn't encounter any boot errors like the old Prime OS, nor did we face any black screen issues. One issue with the previous Prime OS was that the Wi-Fi didn't work immediately after installation, but in this version of Prime OS, you won't encounter any Wi-Fi problems. This operating system has been fully customized. You can see that everything from the notification bar to the mouse cursor has been customized. A shortcut area has been created on the right side where you can create shortcuts for your favorite apps. Additionally, this operating system provides full support for key mapping, and you also get a built-in screen recorder that allows you to record your screen as well. When it comes to installing games, you can use the Play Store on this operating system. However, it's preferable to install games via USB, because if you connect to the Play Store over the internet, background app updates may run, leading to lag. So let me quickly install some games. So friends, I've installed quite a few games, and now it's time to test them out. As you can see, 
the game is running smoothly without any lag. I've also tried some other games here, and you can see their highlighted clips on the screen. So overall, it's a pretty good operating system for low-end PC, and you should definitely give it a try. Installation might be a bit complicated, but once you have it installed, you will have locked FPS in almost all games. If you request it, I can try Free Fire on it in the next video. But for now, please allow me, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, goodbye.